we're making curry chicken. Once you got your chicken in the bowl, you want to go ahead and add in about two thirds of the bowl of water, a couple splashes of vinegar, and one lemon. All right, so boom, right there it is. You definitely want this in there because you want to clean your chicken. Take a sharp knife, you start peeling off the excess skin. Get rid of the fatty stuff. Make it easy, make your chicken nice and clean. I want to leave some of the skin on it because the skin's gonna help keep the flavor of whatever you're doing with the chicken. Clean, clean, bet. And you're just gonna repeat the step over and over until all your chicken's clean. Boom, sorry, right, here we go. Chicken is nice and cleaned up. Transfer the chicken back to that bowl. Smoke. Clean up your cutting board, get your chopper. All right, so when you're with your chicken, bone side up, you're gonna go ahead and just you know, cut you off a nice piece right there. Cut it in two. Take that bone, chop it, bam, there you go. Toss it in the bowl, repeat with the rest. All right, so here we are at the seasoning station. You're gonna need garlic salt, seasoned salt, some ground, Cayenne pepper, ground turmeric, onion powder, white pepper, black pepper, an onion, and of course we use better pat curry powder. You can use any curry powder you like, but this is the one that we rock with because it's good. So seasoning is just about individuality. So you season until you feel like you have enough. And that goes to everything that I'm adding to this container. The black pepper, the white pepper, the onion powder, all of it. The turmeric, we add a little bit of turmeric to it. The reason we use turmeric has a lot of health benefits. Add a little bit of ground cayenne pepper, or a lot. You know, you got those people who like heat. Like I said before, don't forget the onions. Get your onions in there. You already got the onion powder. This just adds a little bit more flavor. Now here's the important part about seasoning with curry. You don't want to over season this with curry because when you go to cook your chicken, you're going to have curry in the pot as well. So you don't want to over season it. For these eight leg thighs, I would go about two tablespoons of the curry powder. And same thing, you're just gonna mix it up. I'm gonna use tongs for this. Just because curry stains and curry on your skin is gonna take a long time to come out. Now normally, we would just put this in a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer, and let it sit till whenever we're ready. But we're cooking this today. And you start adding in pieces of the chicken. Giving it a quick, light fry. All right, so boom, you're gonna fry these in batches, right? 
turning every few minutes to make sure your chicken is cooked evenly on all sides. All right, so this one's done. These chickens are fried out. Looking real nice. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that back to that fry first, and I'm gonna add it back into the pot. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm taking some water, adding it to the bowl with the cooked chicken, and we're gonna add that water here into the pot. Now we start the gravy. Now you're gonna keep it on that medium high heat, cover, let it continue to cook. While we're waiting for your chicken to continue cooking, you wanna get you four at medium white potatoes. All right, so see, this is one cubed potato. As you see, they're not huge, but they're good size. It's gonna make the gravy thick. We add in the potato into the pot. Get them coated, get them down in the pot. Incorporate it in between the meat. Cover it, let them cook. The reason why you add the potatoes is to basically get your gravy thicker. I'm using four medium-sized carrots. Go ahead and get them cleaned up, chopped up, and we'll get them in the pot soon. Carrots are cleaned up, washed off, diced up. All right, back again. 15 minutes later, potatoes are bubbling. I'm gonna go ahead, do a quick test on your potato. I'm gonna use a fork for this. See how so I put the forks on through. Potatoes are cooked. Now you add in your carrots. Stir them in. Reduce your heat to medium low. Cover back the pot. All right. So the time has passed. Boom. We got a fork. Check the carrots. Carrots are soft. Gravy is nice and thick. And your chicken is done. You are good to eat. Presentation video coming soon.